What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. We were declared war upon with the coalition and all of our allies abandoned us and are now hostile towards us. So ultimately I guess you put in uh, what you expect to get out. Don't get me wrong, Muscovy is still a very powerful nation. However, I think we're going to have to go a little bit slower than normal. And from what I plan to do next... I obviously need a lot of money to go ahead and, uh, you know, fund my, uh, you know, new institutions. You know, we need to embrace colonialism, the printing press eventually as well. I mean, we're talking about 5,000 gold here. It's going to be a long time. Uh, I, we're about to declare war on Perm. We're going to try to loot as much money as we can. Uh, in the meantime, we don't have a lot of stability. I would like to continue on... Uh, maybe even getting an Inquisitor, if that's even possible. Looking for the clergy, getting an Inquisitor. It's a level 3, though. I don't know if I like that. Um, let's grab, seek support of the clergy, demand admin. Let's go ahead, demand Diplo. And then demand military support. Okay, I absolutely am going to be throwing down some Diplo into uh, St. Petersburg, or better yet, Neva. And now, one of our only goals is we need to gain prestige. So let's do that. More prestige means more legitimacy. I can't believe it's, this, it's really this bad. We are in a downward spiral. And I guess really the only thing that we can do, let's gain some base tax and some loyalty. The really only thing that we could do is maybe declare war on Bukhara. Nope, that's not an option. Uh, Kiva doesn't like us because they think they're stronger than us. Chernigov is a vassal. There's really nowhere that we can expand to. Everybody is just so powerful. And uh, I could go for Georgia. But you are being secured independence by Persia. I don't think I like that. I could go after these guys. Galicia. Independence guaranteed by Hungary. What about Lithuania? Allied with Theodoro. That doesn't matter. I could try to do something like that. Uh, I do want modern theocracy, but I don't want to spend this much money. Let's go ahead. Do we still have building up our spy network? I don't know if we're going to be able... Let's improve the autonomy. I don't think if we can declare war on Lithuania and win if they bring in any allies. I don't know if they... They have an ally with Theodoro. But if somebody was like the defender of the true faith, things could get ugly. Okay, fabricating our claim on Perm. Let's go for Ishkara. Recall you. And in 12 days, declaring our war... This has been a very big... and We have a truce. Was not expecting that. I want a 14, 14, 14. So you are an 8, 2, 4. You are a 6, 2, 4. And then these guys can be disbanded. And then once our truce is done... I think this is going to be our primary army for at least the time being. Um, I absolutely want to send in some missionaries somewhere. We're going to gain prestige... Once these are done, they'll take a while, though. And we would do better if we had more stability. And it would be a lot better if we had, um, you know, money as well. Can we get a loan? Yes, we can. I want this guy gone. And I also want this guy gone. And basically, I'm going to try to find a, uh, an Inquisitor, if that's even possible. And it should be. And with all of our missionary strengths, that all the people that we're converting, we're going to gain prestige from that. So I think this is what we're going to try to do. I have no idea how viable of a plan this is. We are losing money, though. Is there anything we can do? Army maintenance is high. Corruption does not need to be that high, even though we have zero corruption. Um, it could reduce inflation. Still not that great. We could destroy some forts. This guy can go. This guy can go. Uh, this guy can go. And I guess this guy can go. Are we still losing money? We're gaining money now. Not bad. Okay. These 14,000 will deal with this threat. 
<laughs> and I really just want to declare war on Perm. 1560, though, so next month uh, we should be good to go. Let's also gain a free stability, but before I do that, let's improve stability once, gain the free stability again, and now our missionary strength is even stronger than before. So we're waiting until June 1st, so I guess one month from now. An excellent minister giving, giving us a bunch of nice and beneficial options. You are going here, you are going here. Perm will be mine once again. I have a lot of money that I need to pay off. 553 coin. Those rebels have been dealt with. And we need to secure more income somehow. We also need more legitimacy, and therefore we need more prestige. Improvements in land technology. Let's go ahead and spare no expenses. Our next goal is to try to get some institutions. And the only way to really do that is obviously win wars, steal their money. Looks like they're running away. Um, are we going to chase them down? Probably. Sorry that the game is going so fast. I'm trying to just uh, push through, gain some money, gain some power. We'll see exactly how this works. Perm is now all ours. This is great news. Let's take all this land. We're going to have to core it once again. I want all their money. 320 coin isn't bad. And we are going to destroy any castles they have, which I don't see any. Core these areas. And let us begin getting Trunnions. I abs... Mm, I don't want to spend all that military power if we don't need to. You're going to come here, you're going to go there, and you are going to go here. And let's begin fabricating some claims on Lithuania. Polotsk. And don't get me wrong, I'm going to try to conquer territory. However, uh, I definitely need to take it slow, and my priorities are probably going to be um, <laughs> taking money and income more than anything. Everybody's making their way over. Game is going super fast. I now have two more missionaries. Let's send them on their way. Try to gain some prestige. Our legitimacy is finally rising again. I'm sure what will happen is once our king dies, he's 51 years old. Uh, unfortunately, we have a naive enthusiast for an heir, but it's not really as bad as it seems. Theodoro will be declared against us as well, but we're going to try to do everything in our power to eliminate these threats. What's our goal? Kiev? That's an odd war goal. Take Kiev for Chernigov. I should have clicked a better goal. Do they have any troops? Yes, they do. And Theodoro is here as well. We have some cannons. Maybe actually trying to help out with the sieges might not be a bad idea. Uh, same thing here. A great advisor has passed away. Reinforcement speed is garbage, but we're going to have to do it anyway. And now we will unlock mercenary discipline if we ever decide to get those. Polotsk has fallen. You are going to go here. You are going to go here. We have 11% war score. Sending in some troops, maybe to strike down Theodoro. And it looks like we're about to lose one mercantilism. This is just so, this is so hard. All right, let's go ahead, take another loan. And what I need to do is embrace colonialism. And now, look at our technology tree. Get the flute, get the trunnions, and get the wharf. And I suppose get modern theocracy. We are just so far behind on, like, every technology. I also want to uh, get Theodoro as a vassal. I don't know if that'll work. Can we get Lithuania as a vassal? No. Let's see if we can get war reparations, all of their money. They don't even have money. That's how poor they are. 
Well, I guess what's the best thing to do? It would have been nice if we had some actual forts to block them from running around. Can we run down straight into their lands? Yes, we can. I'm going to run down here. These 14, I suppose, will take out these 13,000. And we can finally get the Conventicle Act, getting even more missionary strength. Let's also go ahead and grab, definitely don't want to pass the Declaration of Indulgence, because the uh, stability cost modifier for the rest of the game will go up. Let's take these units out. I want Theodoro as a vassal. I see them coming down and I see them all around. Let's go here, send another four cannons, see if we can make a difference. And you know what I could do? I could even give these provinces to Caucasia. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to go ahead and outright vassalize them. Sending in some missionaries to gain some more uh, prestige, because that's exactly what I need to do. Okay, Theodoro should be mine sometime soon. Looking for Theodoro. All I want to do is make them a vassal. Who's going to hate me? Some people, but no one really important. You're going to go here. Decline, decline. All of our cores are done. <laughs> this game is so fast on speed 5. Like, oh my goodness. All right, you're going to go here. Let's get you a new leader. Let's get you to try to do your job. 99% war score. Let's get our Theodoro. Still don't want to be accepted. Because why? We're in the middle of a battle. Repay this loan. So Theodoro, negative four reasons. If we could crush these units, we can now take all of their money. Which is actually, surprisingly enough, make them a vassal. And now looking at Musk, uh, looking at Lithuania. I now I'm going to take all of their money. I could release Kiev and make them into a vassal. Uh, Smolensk maybe Kiev as well. Kiev is a little far away. Let's go for Smolensk, and we already have war reparations. Maybe even taking these provinces. Um, I, I don't know for sure. <laughs> Something like that, and then ending this war. Would Smolensk even like to be my vassal? I guess that's a question we need to find out. Yearly prestige, 0.5. Smolensk is, yes, they would like to be my vassal. Let's improve relations. We immediately need to core these new lands. Can I repay any loans? Yes, I can. Do I have any loans? Yes, I do. Okay. So we now have five of six diplomatic relations. I'm sure we're about to have six of six very soon. I think my next actual goal is probably to annex Chernigov um, and maybe even improve relations with Theodoro. I don't know. We definitely need to work on getting our manpower up. We need to do a lot of things. And, uh, you know, obviously only time will tell. Let's actually recall you from Theodoro. You're already a vassal. And you're the correct religion. Smolensk, let's go ahead and offer you an alliance. And now we can offer you a vassalization on the 28th of February. Finally slowing this game down. And this is actually exactly where we needed to stand this entire time. Royal marriage offer from Smolensk, sure, why not? Uh, let's form the Russian nation. We've been waiting a very long time. Let's absolutely gain new traditions and ambitions. This has been a very daunting game nonetheless, but it is working. Uh, sending down 14,000 troops, superior unit types, Eastern Hussars, offensive, and it looks like we got a new cannon. Okay, Smolensk is a vassal. Everybody who is my vassal is apparently the correct religion. Let's send over some missionaries wherever we can. <laughs> Try to get them to do their jobs. National, let's make St. Petersburg the capital. It's going to lose some money, but we're going to gain a ton of prestige. And establish the Russian Patriarch. Ooh. Cost of reducing war exhaustion, minus 20%. 
Okay, we're doing very well, or at least I think we are. You're going to go here, you're going over. Uh, my next goal is probably going to be to destroy uh, Finland, or at least maybe just declare on, well, hmm, if Sweden wants to be my ally, I obviously will oblige. Can we get them to be my ally once again? We have six of five diplomatic relations. Why is that? We should have six of six. I still don't know. It should really be six of six. I, I have no idea why it's like that. Let's get the man of war. And if we could somehow get uh, Sweden as an ally... You know, maybe we could try to, uh, you know, then once again try to re <laughs> refocus on the Ottomans. And we'll see exactly how this works. It might not work at all. Uh, part of me thinks we should get some sort of military idea now. And ultimately, I think that's actually exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to go with offensive ideas because we're going to get some really, really nice, uh, better, really nice and stronger leaders. Focusing on military tech. Is there anything that we can do right now? Getting yearly corruption reduction would be nice. But if we wait a few more seconds, get better leader shock for the rest of the game. And now we can get national conscripts. Minus 10% recruitment time. And now we have yearly corruption reduction. So that's really pretty good as well. Looking at Kiva, they are obviously still a little disloyal. Nothing I can do about that. Everybody is the correct religion. Uh, are we improving relations with Theodoro? Not really. Oh, you know what happened? Uh, because we now have new, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We now have new ideas. I guess what happened is we no longer have the diplomatic relations slot, uh, which I guess is fine. I'd like the yearly legitimacy. But uh, every year that's going to go by, we're going to gain some yearly legitimacy and eventually getting superior firepower, or better yet, finishing up our offensive tree uh, would look really, really nice on us. And uh, that's really what we're going to try to do. Man, that war against the Ottomans just was just absolutely god-awful. I also want to try to secure an alliance with Persia, which supposedly I can do both. Hostile attitude towards me. That's not what I wanted to see. Can I begin an annexation of Kiva? No. Can I begin the annexation of Caucasia? Probably. Do I want to? Probably not. Um, oh, Chernigov, you can go. And you know what? Let's take a glance. Um, all of you guys are vassals except for Galicia. We have military access through you. So if I cancel this... We should be able to save some money. And what I want to do is improve relations. I don't think it's going to happen. I could send them money, but they're just hostile. Polots continuing to grow. Would they like to be a vassal? No, it doesn't look like it. So I suppose um, we're going to begin our annexation of Chernigov sometime soon. On, I guess, the 8th of... It says we need to wait at least 10 years. When is that 10 years? 8th of January, 1568. So two more years to go. Uh, can we pay off any loans? We have two loans. Very expensive. Uh, can I ask for contributions? No. I would like to declare war on somebody. Take some of their money. Take some of their income. Do I want to go ahead and also embrace the printing press? I do, but it's nowhere near me. This has been one daunting campaign. I'm surprised this is even uh, working this well. Russia gained some permanent claims on a variety of areas. I absolutely want Persia to be my new ally. Let's try to secure this. Let's try to make this one last. And now that we have an ally, they're hostile. That doesn't make sense. Can we improve relations a little bit more? I think we can. Okay. Um... What about Sweden? They're hostile. 
We have a lot of rebels that are going to be dealt with in time. We are running out of missionaries. We have three stability. And we don't necessarily have any patriarch authority to get some national uh, unrest reduction. Okay, I've got 11,000 troops. I don't know what to do with them. I would love to declare war on the Ottomans. I just don't have, uh, you know, enough people to join. Spain, does Spain ever want to be an ally? No. <laughs> Spain is allied to the Russian rival of France. Royal marriage from Chernigov. Let's absolutely take the 50 admin. And it looks like the Ottomans have declared war on Hungary. And that's about it. Would the Teutonic Order ever like to be an ally? No. We have six of five diplomatic relations. I don't know why. Ah, uh, because of Persia. Our annexation of Chernigov should begin very soon, if not now. Oh yeah, 1568. We have a revolt inside Kaffa. Let's make our way down. Let's make our way over. And the Russian Orthodox Church declares independence. We can get 50 admin, 10 patriarch authority, or we can get a bunch of claims. No, we need Constantinople to lead the true faith. Let's go ahead. Let us lead the true faith from Moscow, gaining admin and patriarch authority. You know, claims would be nice, but it's not really needed. All right, we've got a lot of rebels that I want to deal with. And I don't know the best way to make this happen. Obviously, we need some stability. And we're working on doing some conversions. It's just being very, very slow. How many loans do we have? Still two with eleven ninety nine. And I would love to declare war. Persia does not owe us ten favors, and they're fighting in a war. I don't know if we could really take out the Ottomans. I would absolutely love to try. The religion in Iglio changes to Orthodox. Fantastic. Would Bukhara, they're allied with the Ottomans. I don't like that. Ooh. Declaring war on them means the Ottomans would not join in. They're in a lot of debt, which is actually kind of awesome. Let's take the extra production. Looks like the burgers are going to get even more influence, though. It's a little too high, so I don't think we're going to do that. Anything I could take or anything I can milk, not that I see. Still have the Inquisitor. We're still doing well. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all so much for joining me. Despite having a very rocky coalition declared against us, we did prevail. But unfortunately, we lost about 20 years of growth. But anyway, thank you all again. I hope you all have an awesome day. I will see you in our next adventure.